Thanks a bunch, Kyoko. Whoa, scary humans. There's lots of scary humans. Humans are perhaps the scariest animal on the planet. I mean, have you seen how many toes we have? It's insane. Alright, cool. Um, well, this is fun. Nothing like a bunch of data types right in front of all these virus types. Um, sure. <laughs> and of course, it goes right for Patamon. Cool. Love to see that. <clears throat> nice little spin move there. One shot, there we go, finish the deal. Technically not a one shot, since uh, prior damage had been dealt, but you know. Potato, potato, and why not? All right, well, um, we've already done our do copy paste diligence, so we shall go up here. And then take the next elevator to go down here. get attacked by this gang we got enough for another toy agumon nice get out of here gecko mon cool i left my water out in the other room you love to see it awesome quake sure let's do that combo oh brother the double data combo too oh we got critical on one Oh, nice. Um, unfortunately, we don't have enough. Or we don't have any um, attacks that'll hit everyone with Patamon, which is unfortunate. But you know what? We're going to finish it there. You love to see it. A pearl. Cool. <laughs> Greymon leveling up. Love to see that. <sighs> Always enjoy another step closer to the metal Greymon. For sure. Oh, look there. We got the guy. We got him. He's there. Okay, okay. Um, yeah, so uh, the Woken Day Palm should do the trick, honestly. Bada bing. Um, honestly, if we can change the Patamon out to the... Nah, that should be fine. <clears throat> Gaia element. Okay. At least we've got all of our uh, our types here for coverage. At the very least. Hopefully that'll get us to where we need to go. All that jazz. Right, let's go talk to this guy who conveniently has an exclamation point above his head. Oh dear, you're telling me that you think that I have stole a very rare Digimon medal? There's no way I could do such a nasty thing. Look at me, with my skinny arms and soft, fair skin. You have a hoodie on. I can't... And a mask. How can I see the majority of your skin? What's that? You've got an ID match? Oh boy, you don't know when to give up. Like I told you, I don't know anything. I never saw any businessman. What? You didn't say anything about a businessman? 
Oh, you said that the victim was male? <laughs> oh, nobody likes a nag. I'll teach you a thing or two. Get out of my way. Well, look at that big old tree. He's got a mustache. It's Burt Reynolds as a tree. Um... Will the Woken Napalm 1 do the trick? Oh, it did not do the trick. Very interesting. Did not see that coming, I will admit. Alright, Comet Hammer coming clutch. Oh, well. Um, so we do actually have to kill this thing. Okay, there we go. Yeah, he was going to get another turn. So, just kind of need to get him out of the way. Nothing to it, you know. But easy enough to uh, take down a pesky little hacker, if you ask me. Simple and easy. Boof. You. I won't forget this. I'll report this to my leader. To Jimmykin. Oh, brother, not Jimmy Kin. Hmm. It's the first time you heard someone go, boof? <laughs> what a splendid experience for you. <laughs> but more importantly... Huh? What? Did you get the Digimon medal back? That's some impressive work in such a short time. By the way, I contacted you because I had new info. Right now, the next case is at the agency. Given the client and the particulars, I decided that it'd be better for you to cover it. Sorry to dogpile you with stuff, but could I have you come back to the office ASAP? Wow! It's a lot of cyber sleuth points. Hey, you there. Assistant detective. You look like you're doing well. What's that? Whatever came of the Kamashiro and Nile Corporation case? That's on the back burner right now. I'm on a different case today. Here is your next client, your friend Sakura's mother. You want a Sakura's classmate? Classmate, singular. I've heard her talk about you. Yes, it is easier to talk about this with you. To tell you the truth, Sakura has run away from home. She's been acting very odd lately. I've been worried, but I had no idea she'd do anything like this. You said she'd been acting very odd lately. Could you be more specific, ma'am? There was this music video. She'd stay in her room with all the lights off, just watching the same video over and over, morning, noon, and night. She wouldn't leave her room, even go to school. So of course I scolded her for it, but... And that was when she ran away. Yes, so I went to the police and the detective here recommended your agency to me. But why bring you all the way here? We've seen her run a case similar to this lately. This would be the straw that broke the camel's back. The camel's back. Yeah. I pulled the video we think caused her to run away and did a bit of research. Here. Scary stuff. <laughs> Hi, my little honeys. Thanks for waiting, lols. And now, what you've all been waiting for. Of the demons, by the demons, for the demons. It's time to jack the airwaves, lols. Well, are you picking up what I'm putting down? This tingling feeling running through your bones? Listen up. My new single, Ephemeral Hummingbird. Get chills down your spine. Become fans of mine. That's it. The video Sakura was watching. Well, that saves me a long-winded explanation. The Demons hacker team, run by this punk Jimikin, has been on a huge crime spree lately. That said... To pull off something like a large-scale hijacking of the airways would require a big sponsor pulling the string, I would think. <sighs> Hence the camel's back. Yeah. A large-scale airwave hijacking. A big sponsor. All while police attention is elsewhere. Kamishiro? There's no hard proof, but it's gotta be them. Kamishiro? The company that runs Eden? How are they connected to my daughter? Leave your daughter to us, ma'am. We'll find her. You can count on us. Stay calm and wait at home. In fact, why don't I drop you there, off there? 
Dave, get the details from Detective Motoyashi, okay? If Kamashiro's involved, we have to get to the bottom of this. I made a mess of things with them before. If I mess up again, the top brass will come down on me and hard. The perils of being a civil servant, I suppose. That's where you come in. I'd like to borrow your unique talents. Don't worry, I've heard it all from Kyokyo. She's told me what you can do. It's only natural that you might be a tad confused, but Kyo-chan and I want nothing more than to expose Kamashiro. I used to believe in justice. I had ideals and a partner I respected, but all of that was taken from me by Kamashiro. Kyo-chan didn't tell you, huh? Kamashiro snuffed out Kyo-chan's father my former partner, and the founder of this agency. Of course, there's no actual proof, but the two of us have wanted revenge on Kamishiro ever since. I'd like nothing more than to catch them red-handed. With Kamishiro scurrying about like mad and you coming into these weird abilities of yours, this is our big chance. Please, help me. No. Help me and Kyochan. Thank you. I'm counting on you, young one. How could I turn him down? I just passed Detective Motoyashi on the street. What happened? It looked like there were tears in his eyes. Oh. Yeah, I'm sad. The detective is a passionate man, you know. He's well aware that your connection jump ability skirts the boundaries of what's legal. Plus, he'd ordinarily never ask so much from someone who's still only a child. But, for Motoyashi, going after Kamishiro is very personal. Honestly, the old man thinks I shouldn't get myself involved in this. But I'm going after Kamashiro as well. He's probably thinking that, since he can't stop me, he can still look out for my well-being. He's too passionate for his own good. It can be almost painful to watch sometimes. Sorry for rambling on like that. Okay then, let's get back to the topic at hand. Track down the clues on the missing Sakura. <laughs> Any lead is good, even a small one. Check places she'd usually go and pick up her trail. While you're doing that, I'll look into Jimikin in this disturbing video. I've got a general guess percolating, but if I'm not careful in checking things out, there could well be fatal consequences. I don't want to lose my assistant through my own personal negligence. Someplace Sakura would like would be likely to go. Well, she seems to go to Nakano a lot. It's the goodest place as any to start. Alright, so where in Nakano? Where would she be? Um, my first guess is the K Cafe, because that's where we saw the, the guy. So let's do that. Although the CD shop is also a possibility, just because of the, the Jimmikin stuff. Uh, so nothing here. So let's go to the CD shop on the second floor. See if there is anything here. Aha! Nokia! Oh, Dave, what are you doing in a place like this? Oh, wow. Working as a cyber sleuth? I don't suppose you get to use a magnifying glass or voice modulator or anything like that, do you? What? But more importantly, what do you mean more importantly? God, why do you always got to make everything about you? Huh? A Jimmikin music video? You're investigating Jimmikin? Not that I would watch his video. I mean, look at him. Just thinking about it makes my skin crawl. He gets my guts churning. I get hot flashes. Well, he's not all bad. I mean, the songs are okay. What? Am I sick? Of course I'm not sick, silly. I just had a heaping bowl of rice topped with egg this morning. What's that? Do I know Sakura? You mean Sakura the crazy Jimmykin fan? Yeah, I know her. She's a friend of mine. We were both listening to Jimmykin's songs a while ago. What happened to her? Did she run away or something? Well, a lot of Jimmykin's fans are running away lately, right? I heard the rumors. But I thought they were just rumors. If they're true, then this is big. The cops need to put out an ABC on these people. What? An APB? Why, what did I say? I totally said APB. I, I was thinking to myself, I was like, an ABC? Isn't it an all-point bulletin? <laughs> but so go on. What happened to Sakura? Um, 
I don't want the cops to have to put out an ABC. Hey, what do you mean? Now I want to know. Wait up. Hey, you, wait. <laughs> oh, man. I, I love messing with Nokia. It's so fun. Thank you.